Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bobby and I love movies, so today we're going to be talking about Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. But first... Hey look! I'm in my room! I'm back from shooting my film! In case you guys didn't know, for the past month, I've been shooting my first feature film. It'll be available for you guys to view sometime in the next year. It's called The In-Between, and it was so much fun to make. I actually made a Q&A video about the film that I put up yesterday. The link to that will be down in the description or on the screen for the next few seconds. So yeah, if you want to know more about the film, go check that out. Okay, back to the review. So Rogue Nation is the fifth film in the Mission Impossible series. Normally, once a series gets to the fifth installment, they're kind of shitty. But I am happy to report that this is not the case with Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible 5 is basically Mission Impossible 4 with fewer one-liners and more intense action. Yeah. That... Yeah. So the performances in this film were all decent. Tom Cruise as Ethan Hunt never gets old. Tom Cruise physically goes all in for this character. Simon Pegg, who plays the character of Benji, has a much larger role in this film than in previous installments. And I was a really big fan of that. He's always funny, but in this one you got to see him be kind of a little bit cool? Just a little bit. If you've seen movies like Hot Fuzz, you know he can be cool. So it's fun to see that part of his character come out. The villain in this film was exceptionally good. I know I've heard several people say this, but he's very similar to Voldemort if he had a nose. Okay, yeah, if you want to know what he acts like without going and seeing the film, go watch Harry Potter and just picture a big nose right on Voldemort's face. All five of the Mission Impossible films are special for their own reasons. Number one is kind of this classic spy Brian De Palma film, and I think Ethan Hunt's character is most interesting in the first one. Number two is just hilarious. It's not good, it's just hilarious. Now number three on the other hand has Philip Seymour Hoffman playing one of my favorite villains of all time and has the greatest twist ending out of the whole series. And now with four and five I would kind of watch both of those for the same reasons. Both of them are Ethan Hunt with this team going to exotic locations and doing crazy stunts while still keeping with a fairly interesting story. Damn natural light. This film was exactly what I wanted it to be, which again was a big surprise for me. It was so refreshing to be able to go to a movie theater and watch a movie that I didn't want to just pick apart and make fun of the whole time. Because the movie is advertised as having so many of the stunts being real, it made the action scenes that much more intense. Because you didn't know what was real and what was CGI. I went and watched the movie with my buddy Kevin, and at one point he had his hands over his face like this. He was looking through his hands. It gets fairly intense. So overall, it is a really fun film, and I would definitely recommend you go and see it in theaters. Okay, guys, I guess that's it. You can hit me up on Twitter at Burns and Instagram at BobbyBurnsOfficial, and I'll see you later, guys. Peace out. Shh. <laughs>